Hey everyone, welcome back to Autodesk Fusion. Uh, in today's video, we're actually just gonna go over a model I created. And this isn't really a tutorial, it's really more so a video gauging people's interest in something like this. I, I'm reorganizing my shop, my wood shop out in my garage. And I need to create a bunch of cabinets. And I, since I'm a Fusion user, I figured I would make a parametric model. And I've got a bunch of really cool things in here that uh, might differ from other models out there. So right off the bat, the cat, this first model I created is more of like an American style with a face frame. And this model has one door. So I don't believe, maybe you can, I'll have to try to figure that out. I don't know if in this model I can delineate between one door and two doors. So I may just have to make a separate model for two doors. And then I was thinking about maybe making a model for base cabinets and even maybe like more European style with no face frame. So let's just go through the model and maybe in the comments you guys can tell me the interest. If, if it'd be something you'd be interested in purchasing or maybe I should just make a tutorial on how to do this and you can create it yourselves. I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't thought through it too much, but okay. So in this model, let's go over kind of the construction first. So how this is constructed is it's basically just screwed together. Um, let's see if I can take the face frames out here. So here's the basic cabinet right here. And um, I guess you could put dados or, or um, biscuits or something in here or um, pocket screws, obviously. So and then the only dado in this is for the back panel. And then it's got some nailers here to hang up on the wall. And then we have the back panel, obviously, that rests inside that little dado. And then we have the face frames. On top of that, I also have the doors. And the doors are built with uh, tongue and groove. And if we turn my analysis on to cut away that door, it actually figures out the panel inside as well with uh, some clearance. And so let's go through the parameters here and I'll, you can see everything you can change. So we've got plywood thickness, so you can change the actual between half inch, three quarter, whatever uh, plywood thickness you want. And everything is in millimeters and I do when I when when I make the cut list, I can actually have that in millimeters or inches. Um, so the one thing that's a little confusing is if you if you are not used to metric, you you'll have to kind of add this up for your um, for your measurements. But again, I have a trick for that later that I'll show you. Um, so, anyways, plywood thickness, cabinet height, width, depth, the back panel thickness. So if you're going to use quarter or half inch for this back panel. Uh, the face frame widths, the thickness, the o face frame overhang is this right here. So how the face frame, uh, how much it overhangs the actual carcass of the cabinet. You can change the nailer width. So if I turn this door off, so these little nailers right here in the back, you can change that width. For the doors, you have the hinge overlay. The hinge overlay is how far the door sits in front of the face frame and that's determined by the hinge you're going to use um, you have door thickness the rail and style width of the doors the top the door overhang for the top and bottom so basically uh, how much it over uh, overlays the maybe i should change it to overlay instead of overhang i'll have to do that um, how much it overlays the face frame the door panel thickness so this this piece right here that's inside the, the door and then um, the crown edition and the crown edition is affects the let me get out of this here the crown edition affects the height of this top rail to make room for a crown so you can see if I get into this I have crown to zero but if I wanted to add another inch here so 25.4 you'll see this update right here it makes this larger but then it also automatically ups, updates the door and this gives you a nailer room for the crown now obviously for like an end cabinet you would have to make uh this 
the style a little shorter because uh, you want this to be flush, but that's something you'd have to do on your own. I don't have that calculated in. So um, everything works really, really great. So instead of just going through and manually changing these, um, I'm going to show you something else I did. And this will only work if you have a paid subscription for Fusion. So if you don't have the paid subscription, you'd have to manually enter all this stuff. And really, once you get your, you know, the basic stuff down, like your uh, plywood thickness, you're really only changing height, width, and depth once you get everything else set. But if you have a paid version, I have a bunch of configurations set. So uh, the configurations are standard upper cabinet sizes for one door. So we have 30 inch tall, 36 inch tall, 39 and 42 tall, and then the standard widths. So if I wanted a 39 by 15 cabinet, I could just double click and it updates. Or if I want a, 40, a big one, 42 by 24, it updates and the door updates as well. Um, now here comes the coolest part, I think. So I created a script to give us a cut list. And so what you can do is go to file and view and you're gonna turn on the text command. I already have it turned on, which is why it says hide. So if I hide that, if I go back up to view and show text commands, it, it's way down here at the bottom of the screen and you hit this little plus symbol and you can see some text here. Now what I can do is go up to utilities, add-ins, and I created a little script called cut list generator. And if I hit play, a little window will pop up and it'll ask me if I want to export it as a CSV file. And that way you can open it up in like an Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna hit no for now, but if you hit yes, it'll ask you to save it and stuff. So I'm gonna hit no. What it will do is show up in the text command. So I can hit plus here and we may have to just raise this up so we can see and at the very top it gives us all of the pieces uh, of the cabinet and door and it gives us both the metric measurements and the imperial measurements on top of that it gives me a quantity summary so if there are pieces that are the same like the top nailer bottom nailer it gives us the measurement and then how many we need to cut and it goes through the whole cabinet for that um now obviously this isn't as robust as an actual cabinet program because you can only you can only design one cabinet at a time you can't you can't design a whole kitchen like this but i think it's pretty useful especially if for someone doing it as a hobby or something like that but okay i think that this video is probably long enough um I'm really just gauging interest. Would you guys want to see a video on how to create something like this? Would there be interest in purchasing the files along with the script so you can really quickly design cabinets and fusion? Um, I guess let me know. Um, I think if I was going to actually sell it, I would probably make all the models, right? So I would make these upper cabinets with one door and then a model for upper cabinets with two doors and then maybe one with uh, no face frame and then lower cabinets with a drawer up top type thing. I would I would make it a little bit more robust or, or more uh, comprehensive if you wanted to do like whole kitchen cabinets. And again, I don't know what a price I would put on that. I would keep it pretty cheap, five, 10 bucks or something like that. But let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if there's enough interest, I'll kind of keep going on this. All right. Thanks very much for watching.